All right, let's analyze this page by focusing on the top four inches. Before we do that, I want you to get a sense of the approach in the overall layout. What we have are a series of boxes that are stacked on top of each other with no particular rhyme or reason. And indeed, if you pull back and think about the experience through the perspective of the customer, it feels like a series of ads just stacked on a page like a magazine. Now, I want to pause there and say, while well, we could discuss all of that, the point of this short session together is to focus on the first four inches because that may help you with your own sight. Let's begin with the number one problem that we have here, and that is there is no clear message spoken to a clear person. Indeed, I don't know who they're talking to, and I don't know who's talking. Why is that? Because it says this month we give thanks to you. Who gives thanks and who am I and what does that mean? Is that the headline for the page? Because there's a box right next to it that says donate, volunteer, apply for a home, events, getting it. Is that navigation? Is that a call to action? I'm not sure. And then underneath it, there's something about when the, the Habitat office will be closed on Monday, January 2nd. All of this presents a hodgepodge of conversation with no clear message focused on a individual or segment that's approaching this page. Now in fairness, the Habitat does many good things, but what are we trying to accomplish with this page? If you are thinking about what we're saying right now and you're thinking about your own page, here's the challenge I would say for them that may be just as relevant to you. What is the objective of my page? Until you are crystal clear on that and until you have arranged every element on the page to help support that objective, your page will always necessarily underperform. Now, you might have more than one objective, but I'll tell you this, if you have more than three, you're in trouble. And if you weight that objective such that at least one of the three is in at least 70% of the page's focus, you'll probably not get good results in any of your page objectives. You need a dominant primary objective. Someone might say, well, home page objective is different than a landing page. True. So be very clear on what the objective is of your landing page and what the objective is of your home page. We'll do another one of these sessions on home pages, but I can tell you this, the, the goal of most home pages is to help you get to the right place. It's got to draw you in, engage you, and point you where you need to go. It's like walking through the front door and being met by someone who helps guide you through the house to the right room. Now, if that's the case, this page isn't doing it at all because the navigation on the right might be uh, calls to action. How does it connect with the navigation above it? There's no navigation on the left where we would traditionally expect it. There is, I think, a video here, but it looks like an ad stacked underneath another banner ad. And more importantly, I don't know what the objective is of the page at all. I don't even know what this means this month. We give thanks to you. I don't know, do you want me to make a donation when I come to this page? Do you want me to simply find the right place inside of the, the website for this particular organization? Do you, do you want me to rec recommend, refer, click, buy? I can't tell. And the page gets more confusing the more I engage. Tax volunteers needed. I say this respectfully. What is a tax volunteer? I mean this. Uh, respectfully and in fact perhaps we can help you perhaps you can take this page and redesign it and we'll have some of our experts look at it for you but this isn't a page to uh, fix this is the sort of page where you just throw it out and start all over again get clear in your objective make sure the rest of the page supports that objective and make certain the eye path is calibrated to those objectives